Hello, welcome to Keyboarding Class. In our last lesson, I have presented to you how to format inter-office memorandums or an informal messages sent to employees within an organization. This time, we will be discussing letter parts and how to lay out a block business letter. Business people expect to see that the standard letter parts are arranged in the proper sequence. Business letters are used to communicate with persons outside of the business. It carries two messages, the tone and content, the appearance of the document. Appearance is important because it creates the first critical impression. So the stationery, use of standard letter parts, and placement should convey that the writer is intelligent, informed, and detail-minded. Letters should be printed on high-quality letterhead stationery. The standard size for letterhead is 8.5 by 11 inches. Envelopes should match the letterhead in quality and color. Letters consist of three main parts, the opening lines to the receiver or the letter address and salutation, the body or message, and the writer's closing lines. Block letter style is a typical business letter format in which all letter parts are keyed at the left margin. For most letters, use open punctuation which requires no punctuation after the salutation or the complimentary closing. Let's now talk about the letter parts and what should be its content. Most of the companies have a pre-printed stationery that includes the company name, logo, address, and other optional information such as website, telephone number, and fax number. Some may be using a digital letterhead template. Next is the date line, or the date the letter is prepared. You position this at about 2 inches from the top, or top enter, three times. Be sure to begin at least 0.5 inch below the letterhead. The next part is the letter address. This contains the complete address of the letter recipient. Begin two lines below the date or top enter twice. Generally includes receiver's name, company name, street address, city, state, and zip code. You should include a personal title, for example, Mr., Miss, Doctor, and remove the added space between the lines of the letter address. The next is salutation, or a greeting used in a letter. The most common form of salutation in an English letter is dear, followed by the recipient's given name or title. To format the salutation, Begin one line below the letter address, so top enter once. Include courtesy title with person's name, for example, Dear Mr. Smith. Next is the body or the message. Begin one line below the salutation. Use the 1.15 inch default line spacing. Top enter once between paragraphs and you can use ladies and gentlemen when addressing a company. The complimentary closing. This part of a letter immediately precedes the writer's signature, consisting of words such as sincerely, cordially, very truly yours. Begin one line below the body and capitalize only the first letter of the closing. The next part is the writer's name and title. Begin two lines below the complimentary closing and top enter 
twice. Speaking about the writer's name and title, key the name and title on either one or two lines, whichever gives better balance. Use a comma to separate name and title if on one line. If two lines are used, then remove the added space between the two lines. The reference initials. Initials included at the bottom of a business letter are called reference or typist initials. Some companies require them so that they know who actually typed the letter or in order to determine who is responsible for the information prepared. To format the reference initials, begin one line below the writer's name and title. Key the reference initials in lower case. To summarize, let's review the different parts of the letter with its corresponding line spacing. In the illustration, please observe the placement of the different parts of the letter. The blue arrow indicates how many times the Enter key should be pressed. Example, Enter once or Enter twice. In your future activities, you will be instructed to use either open or mixed punctuation. For most letters, we use open punctuation, which requires no punctuation after the salutation or the complementary closing. Some businesses prefer mixed punctuation. To format a letter using mixed punctuation, key a colon after the salutation and comma after the complementary closing.